Hello consumers, this is Eltari the Professional Gamer, and I'm here today with no glasses because my dog might have destroyed the frames. But while those frames are being repaired, I still wanted to get a video out to you all because some new content was dropped by Mainframe, the PAX Day developers today. And we're gonna do this in a new segment that I'm calling affectionately PAX Friday Review. This will be a new segment where every Friday we're gonna drop information from everything that's happened over the previous week. This will be an opportunity for you to catch up on anything if you missed out on it from information dropping on Discord to developers comments and any other information that we can gather on the game. That being said, if this is the kind of content that you like, please be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know and also like and subscribe. And if you have any friends that are interested in PAX Day, this would be a good video to share with them. Other than that, we have over 20 screenshots that we have to go over today and we're just gonna get right on to it. Okay, so first off, we have a bridge screenshot, which is really cool. In the past, I know that the developers have reference that we will be able to make at least small bridges over small bodies of water but in the past it looks like they've shown us stone bridges so this looks like a different type of bridge here it's made out of wood so there there's multiple ways that you can make bridges it seems and then we have our tile sets that we saw from the building gameplay video that was released was that last week or two weeks ago that was released a while ago and then the first thing that really shows up here for me is that it looks like there's a double wide log and then some smaller logs here, which is very similar to the Valheim building system, which Mainframe's referenced a couple of times to draw similarities to PAX Day's building system. So that's a very cool first screenshot, a nice scenic home with the thatch roofing as well as the brick and mortar tile sets right there then it looks like we almost go around the house here because we still got the thatch and the brick and mortar here but here's a well that has been placed in their little courtyard and we got a lot of crafting stations here like a lot uh right here it looks like we have possibly a forge of some some kind because there's there's a bellows right here and some hot coals and tongs and different forging materials right there and then we also have an anvil put over there i don't know what this is it's it's put looks like it's made out of stone but it's put right next to this anvil so maybe it's some kind of station associated with that or maybe it's a lower tiered anvil type thing we see this wood block just sitting right there so i don't know if that's a crafting station or if, if that's just a tree kind of fading through the stone we have a kiln we actually have two kilns which is commonly used to manufacture charcoal so that you can burn it in a forge and then up top it looks like we have a couple of different crafting stations something that has tools laying in front of it something we can't i can't really tell what what that is it looks like a chest right there and we got a tanning rack and maybe another tanning rack right there can't really tell based on the angle but another really cool screenshot and here we can see kind of up close definitely see up close the tanning station and this looks like a i don't know what you call this a loom or a, a fabric weaving station or textile station and then right here looks like a fabric working crafting bench we got a bunch of fabric on there we've got a bunch of different types of fabric and then right here we saw this before this is a loom that was in the building gameplay video from a little while back and here's another angle on those chests with some really intricate woodworking done there and off in the distance we can kind of see what looks to be a some kind of player city or a bunch of different houses we got a really big home right there and then a, a kind of towering home right there and then, oh what's this we haven't seen that before it's, i can't tell if that's just a stone building or if it's something else but that looks really cool whatever it is all right right here we got an idyllic 
scene. We got, I think that's a player moving in between one place from another. It's taken from pretty high up, looks like, either on top of someone's home or a cliffside or something like that. But just really small little area. This almost looks like a beached boat or something like that. I can't really tell. Probably just a crafting station, but just the way that it's looking with the reeds right there, or whatever from the lake, it, it definitely looks like something. And we got a uh, house in progress. So definitely looks like people are still actively building. And that's kind of what the tile, individual tiles look like. You got your square structure right here and then your slanted roofs and what looks to be a porch or somewhere for people to stand while they're building the rest. Cool. And this might be a different angle from it because this would be where it would, was taken from. No, this is different. This, this has got to be different because this house's roofing is complete. But yeah, we just got another picture of what what it can look like. We got another angle on those that forge with the bellows right there. This looks like a chest, but I can't really tell what everything else looks like when we zoom in too much. It uh oh, oh ooh someone built up top. Look at that. I have wanted to be able to build in the mountains for quite a while, so I'm very very happy that. It at least looks like we can build at elevation here. <laughs> but that looks really cool. And we got a nice little river that's going down through to a valley. Okay, so we got another angle here. So this looks like the same one that we were looking at before from two ago. Possibly, but from a different angle. Okay, so we got a lot of crafting stations. So this one right here, you got your loom and then... Uh, this looks like a fabric station too. So I wonder if these are different tiers of fabric station. So, I, I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I kind of think that your crafting station should kind of level up with you. And what I mean by that is in Valheim, for example, you build attachments to your primary bench and it kind of grows and aesthetically it grows too. So it looks really cool and, and as things are growing, you're finding places to put these stations or the attachments to the stations around like the chopping block for the, the workbench or the tools for the workbench or the forge tools for the forge. Um, So I really like that idea. I don't know what these benches are, so it's entirely possible that these are completely two different benches, but it would be really nice to see more like attachments that are being made to your benches to make them more visually appealing and those are the things that would do like Valheim does where it un unlocks more recipes to make so that would be really cool but then we also got this right here this I can't tell what that is it might be a woodworking station I can't tell then we got a this looks this is this looks to be a chemistry set. You got a little Bunsen burner here and then a little chemical decanter type thing right there. So if I had to guess, that might be like an alchemy station or something like that. Or some something that where you're doing chemistry. Because why why else do you need to have balances and stuff like that? Um I don't think we ever saw what the reagent distillery looks like, but no, this isn't really a distill, though. So I don't know what that would be. But, yeah, something to do with measuring weights and balances. Some very specific process right there. And then over here, uh, looks like kind of a woodworking bench. And this might be another angle on that bench we saw earlier with the tools kind of lining it right there, but I can't really tell. Now this guy right here... It kind of looks like a kiln, but I can't really tell. Let me know down in the comments what you think this is. I, I'm very interested to see what this is. It almost looks like another tier of kiln or, or something like that, because you got a little hole right here and some wood sticking out. I wonder what that is. And then in the back, good, <laughs> good luck. I cannot make out what any of this stuff is. We can zoom in all we want, but it doesn't change. Another thing, I don't think we've seen rain in game yet. This is rain. It's raining right now. So they have weather in game. 
Or at least they have some kind of weather. Uh, but raindrops be falling on my head. It looks like, I don't know if the fire is responding to that or not. It kind of looks like it's a little di a little dimmer. It's not as, not as on fire. Cool. That's a lot to digest. All right, so then I think we're just going to have a couple of filler screenshots here. Another cool, oh, that might be a stable in the back. I can't tell what these are. It almost looks like another angle on a couple of kilns. Can't really tell, though. But this is definitely... This looks like a stable for horses or something. And we got more of this brick and mortar. I think people really like the brick and mortar uh, tile set. I, I mean, I don't blame them. I I I really enjoy the aesthetic as well. We got this is either a porch or a bridge right there. Okay, very cool. All right, I think this is just another angle of that same house, which is being taken over by trees apparently. And we just got a little porch side. There's some nice atmospheric fog, the trees, leaves are all shutting off and blowing in different directions. And oh, what's this over here? What is this? Oops. What is this? Okay. So this looks like a different tile set. In the past, that we've seen a couple of cobblestone ones where it's stacked, but I've never seen this triangular piece right here, this window piece or this door piece, that looks completely different from what we've seen before. So I wonder if that's like a new tile set, if we've di discovered a new tile set just hanging out in the background. That looks really cool. It kind of looks like a monastery of some sort. I wonder, I, I wonder if we'll see more of that in the screenshots. Okay, so then we got a nice little courtyard got here's that stone block and then this definitely looks like that same chopping block or something like that we got some nice trees in this courtyard got so much foliage it's it's insane how much stuff is on the ground like it's not just a flat texture anymore just everything's everywhere all at once oh okay so i was looking down here to begin with but my eyes should have been tracking up here. What do we have? So this almost looks like a ruin of some sort. Like a castle. You got these big doorways and archways. Looks like there's stuff flying over it. I don't know if that's just birds flying in general or if this is like they're specifically flying over this thing. That's really cool. They got some kind of wood structure right here, some doorways, some wood battlements or something going along the way. That's really cool. So I, player buildings are right there. So this kind of looks like uh, just some ruins or something for the players to explore inside the Heartlands. This is a pretty cool little building here too. We got double roofing. Definitely rectangular. Um, I know some people in Discord were criticizing the, that there were a lot of boxy builds. But, I mean, the easiest thing to build is a box, right? So if people are trying to run around and do crazy stuff and explore the world, they might not necessarily be as focused. But then you have people over here, these high achievers who are making gazebos and stuff on the side so you know i don't want to criticize people altogether too much and okay so here's what looks to be oh is that a bellows right there y'all see that okay so this might be another tier of like i don't know what you call it a forge or something like that so this is where you or a smelter is it a smelter is that what we call it i'm not a blacksmith so don't rely on me for correct terminology here. So maybe it's a smelter, another higher tier smelter than the one that we saw earlier with the bellows. And we got what looks to be like a tower or something like that. But all in all, this is a really cool screenshot. Okay, so this looks like we're now looking at it from a different angle. So we used to be over here, I think. Or no, we used to be down here in the last picture. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we're right over here, I think. Because that's where the wood towery thing is and all of that. And then this is the square box that we just talked about. A rectangle. And, oh, wait, hold on. Are these players? All right, these are, these are either players or humanoid NPCs. Let me know down in the comments which one of these you think it is. You think it's just players walking around with what looks to be no armor, potentially a dress, or do you think this is some kind of mob, like a enemy NPC? Because we haven't seen those before. This might be the first time that we've ever seen, if these are NPCs, this is the first time that we've seen NPCs that aren't animals or giant scary shadow ghosts <laughs> and yeah this is just really scenic i really like this area over here i know it's kind of pixelated we can't really see all together too much but this looks like a true town like a town is developing there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve at least twelve buildings you got this little guy on the outskirts right there but that's really cool very scenic. All right. So here's another video. We got a pig. Oh, gotta love the pigs. Just pigging out right there and some flowers. And just another... Well, well, I guess this is a different biome almost. The trees look like they changed. From this one down here, they're more coniferous, kind of beachy looking trees. But then looks like we've switched over to more of a a forested coniferous style of tree here. That's a really tall mountain in the back. Holy crap, that is a really tall mountain. And we got, okay, so here's another angle on that like brick kiln type structure that you're gonna tell me in the comments what it is. I have no idea what it is. I seen it from this angle does not help either. It does not help me in the slightest. But really cool building altogether. All right, we got some nighttime shots. Canning bench. Oh, wait, hold on. Are those new? I think those are new. So in all of the other ones, the brick and mortar kind of look different, right? The brick and mortar have these types of windows. Uh, that's... This is a single window, and it takes up the whole... The whole wall. And it's got this arching kind of stone top. Okay, so that is definitely a new build set. That's a new tile set for building. So that's really cool. We discovered a new one. Check. Next. All right, so this might be a first that we've seen here too. This looks like a different type of cooking station. We got a ladle of some sort. We got a nice little ladle. We got a kiln in the forest. That doesn't sound like a good idea. But hey, you know, to each their own. I, 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 I live in California, so we're not allowed to put fire anywhere near our forests or else it'll just all go up in flames. <laughs> all right moving on more tanning stations so there's a lot of tanning stations we see this looks like a little planter or something like that over there got some just nice little walkway with a half tall cobblestone wall so we've seen the full tall cobblestone i think this for sure irrefutably confirms that we also have uh half walls cobblestone i don't see much else here it is nighttime so it's really hard to oh there might be some crafting stations over there but that's all the information we're getting from this another interesting angle right here we got a little walkway a stone walkway that leads down the stairs definitely need to not be staring into someone else's home that feels a little creeperish but uh okay so this might be another angle of that because we see these same little stone walkways. Oh, this is the house from the first picture. 
Okay, so this is where we took the picture down here before and we were looking up. This is that at night. This is the top of it. We got a nice little torch hanging off the side here. It Oh, and then also this confirms that there's another smaller tile set, so a half tile set or maybe a one unit tile set for the railing as well. That's cool. I always like when they show the UI. I love it when they show the UI. So what can we tell? What can we tell from the UI here? So this kind of looks like the same. It is the same structure. I think we took the picture from up here before, and now we're standing down here. And that's where we are. Yeah, so that's where we are. And here's let's zoom in here. We're going to get some info. So definitely a sword. We know that swords are in the game. I have no clue what this is. And there's also a little tick right next to it. So I wonder if that's durability or something indicating like a quality system or something like that that I've seen in other games. Or maybe it's a level of something. I have no idea. Then we got the bow, the arrow. That looks like almost as though it's a sword. So it might be stick, <laughs> a spear maybe, I don't know. Can't really tell because the A from Pax Day is covering it up. And okay, so in the trailer, the reveal trailer for Pax Day, or maybe it was the dev commentary, there was something that looked like a health potion in it, but it was bigger and brighter and it didn't look like this. So I think those are two different ones, unless they reskin the texture for the, the item or something like that. I don't know. But this definitely screams I'm a health potion. But I can't really tell. So it's either, I think it's safe to assume that when you drink that, it's going to fill up this potion or like drink bar. Um, I have no idea what it would do, but we see that there's three food slots still. Um, we see that there's open chat, reply, tell. So there might be global chat. I know in the last video, I I noted that we didn't see chat scrolling through a lot, but maybe there is global chat after all. Before it just said reply, tell. I didn't. I didn't. I don't think I noted that, but I'm still a huge proponent of having local area chat and then let the diffusion of information go by traveling or through people's discords. But I feel like this world's gonna be huge and people are gonna be sharing information and having stuff telephoning around will be really cool. Now this is a video that, a video, this is an image that really excites me because we got what looks like a like a tavern or a restaurant of some sort. You got the nice little chairs here and you can just envision you coming into this place with your adventuring party. Maybe you have another player issue you a, a player quest or something like that to go and collect something for them. Go kill a bunch of other players. I don't know. Go and do something for, for this player and you kind of set up in this little tavern here and then set out on your journey after getting a nice drink from the bar and some food from the kitchen but there also looks like a, there's a little little upstairs for people to look down on this might be literally a bar i can't tell but it kind of looks like an actual bar okay and then this is just outside we got that same chemistry bench looking thing right there someone's outhouse and this is with the adobe style or the plaster and thatch style walls as opposed to the brick and mortar but i really like what people are doing we got some like sturdy wood fences there as well cobblestone walls hey we got another player Ooh, he's wearing a cool helmet too this almost looks like one of the helmets that was shown in the lore AMA drop from a couple of weeks ago, but someone else was wearing it, I would suspect. We got three players. This is more the most amount of players we've seen on screen at any point in time. We also got this right here. This kind of looks like 
a smelter or another kiln like a higher tier kiln or something like that or uh you know making charcoal i don't know got a another block right there players doing something this definitely looks like those bellows that we saw from the previous one and then over here it looks like a bigger smelter or whatever standing right there and what looks to be just a crap ton of kilns sitting right here too people are these this town is industrious they are trying to sell armor or something they got a lot of stuff and then are these boxes oh my gosh one two three four five six seven 21 boxes of stuff that's nuts plus whatever is right here 27 boxes total that's nuts okay so this looks like another angle from that one building that we were just looking at with a similar player with the helmet might be the same guy or girl and another angle of the bar upstairs is right there all around I, I would say this is probably one of the coolest buildings that they've shown yet just in terms of what you can do and the options that you have and then okay so is this the first time that we've seen one of these in game because i know in the the release trailer they showed something like this in the middle of a forest but is this the first time that we're actually seeing this like in game it might very well be I wonder if it's something that you're supposed to like go out to around the world and like research or that that's where lore is kept or, or something like that or maybe it's a, a type of sign or something. I have no idea. Let me know down in the comments what you think this is. What, what do you think is the importance of these stone monoliths in Pax Day? Let me know. Nice river here. Looks like there's some, those are either rocks or it's like piles of dirt. I wonder if that's another type of resource that we can gather. That's either iron or it's literally dirt. I, <laughs> I don't know which one it is. And we got a cool little woodsman house kind of underneath the trees with a nice little scenic view there. That's cool too. Okay, so someone actually mentioned this in the Pax Day official Discord, but it it is confirmed that there is going to be box stacking in this game. So that's that's a nice plus. I know I've seen so many YouTube videos of people in Valheim or, or Rust or, uh, you know, any survival crafting style game where you just have a library of these boxes. What would be nice to see is writing to label what's in the boxes right here. Mainframe take notes. All right, so we got a nice scenic view. This looks like the other angle from what we were just looking at because they're the smaller trees and then the, the the big old one will be right there. Just nice scenic little bit. We got a loom, another fabric station, leather working. Looks like the fabric workstation. I can't tell what that is or that just by looking at it. All around cool. This person's got really good seat to look at this magnificent mountain behind them and holy crap i think this is the last okay yeah this is the last one wow so this is what we call a town we got a little wall that's going all the way around we got some cool we got this is the big building so this might be the tavern that we saw earlier where all the chairs were. This is the little adobe plaster wall house right here. It looks kind of like it has a garden in it or it's centered around a tree. And we got a guard station, a little bridge going across. That's a different bridge than the one that we saw in the first screenshot. And we got, this almost looks like a hotel or a tavern or something like that too, where people are supposed to stay and hang out for a while. We got a bunch of crafting stuff over here. More of those big smelters right there. And then a couple of scattered houses around there too. Very nice. So with that being said, we've made it all the way through 
the screenshots that Mainframe have provided to us for this wonderful week. And that's where we're gonna end the video for today. So again, this is a new video segment that we're doing for every week. It'll be the PAX Friday review. And it's just gonna be somewhere where we can go over all of the exciting news that's come out from the previous week and talk about it in a nice and concise manner. So if you enjoyed it, and you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe and share this video to any of your friends that might be interested in PAX Day as well. It most certainly will help our small startup channel. I'm Eltari, the professional gamer. Thanks a lot, consumers.